Hey, church family. Welcome hey, hey. to Pause to Pray on location with <laughs> Pastor Brian and I. We are here at Wycliffe College in Toronto, both of us here for a preaching day. And uh, we're talking about Romans chapter 6 today. And uh, one of the phrases we're talking about is walking in newness of life. In uh, the phrase that we are talking about today is walking in the reality of God's future for us in the present. And really that is so much of the message of the gospel, the fact that things that we look forward to in the future are real here happening for us in the present through the grace of Christ. That, that life, eternal life, right? We talk about that all the time. It begins today, not at some point out in the future. And, uh, and so we're here today and we're talking about that, but we want to uh, spend some time praying about that today. And, and I want to pray for you as a church family, and I hope that you pray for me and for Pastor Brian and too uh, because we need it as well as people who today can walk in newness, newness of life and people who today can live in the reality of the future that means forgiveness right justification from sin being made new it, it's not just something that we are waiting for it's something that's real today so we're going to take a few moments and walk and pray about that and then i'm going to hand it over to pastor brian to pray about uh uh, Phoenix Fest coming up this weekend, yeah. which is crazy. So uh, here we are just to prove we are actually at Wycliffe before I pray. You know, this is part of the Wycliffe building. You can see Trinity College behind me over there. And uh, some people maybe playing sports. It's empty right now. So uh, wherever you are, join us as we are here in Toronto uh, in prayer right now. Father God, thank you that we can be here for this event with a whole bunch of other Christians who are mostly pastors, I guess, who are walking with you and wrestling with what it looks like to teach and preach about walking in newness of life in the present today. What does it mean for us to be dead to sin today and alive to you? What does it mean for us today to be dead to the desires and the slavery that sin has put us into, but now slaves to righteousness, that we are under your rule and authority. And as crazy as that might seem in a world that is so broken, I think it also makes so much sense, God, that in the crazy world that we live in, we are either going to be servants of you, or we are going to be servants of anything but you, our passions, our desires, servants of unrighteousness or whatever phrase and language gets used, uh, sin or passions. So God, today I pray that you would show us what it looks like to live, to make decisions for our businesses, for our families, for our kids, for the people that we're caring for, and make decisions that are about walking in newness of life, the reality of forgiveness, the reality of eternal life, the reality of grace changing the way that we make decisions here in the present today. And so, Father, I pray that whether that means making a different business decision or spending our money on something different or our time on something different today, uh, God, show us what, the, what it might look like for us today in this moment, in the next few moments, to walk in newness of life, in the, few, in the reality of the future, the presence of the future today. God, I pray for your guidance on us all as we walk with you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Pastor Brian's going to take the phone. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll talk about covering, it. Yeah. I was covering the space, yeah. Um, yeah, so we're just going to do it's more of a quicker prayer, but um, I will still be around this Sunday. All the youth will be, but then uh, next Sunday, the 19th to 22nd, we're off to Phoenix Fest in uh, St. Catharines, and we're really excited about that to be with other youth, other churches. Um, we have about eight students from our church, um, and those that are maybe a little connected, that maybe don't come to our church on a Sunday, but are connected to us. Uh, so we're going to be taking eight of them and about four to five leaders. Uh, we're really excited about this. Just pray for um, travel, for packing, um, that it would just be a wonderful time of being together with other students, uh, worshiping God, learning. Uh, I'm really looking forward to just the times of, of chatting with them, of having meals together. And uh, I mean, really practically pray that if it rains, it rains during the day and not at night because we will be camping. Pray that it'll be somewhat okay at night because it does get cold in May. Um, we're really looking forward to this. So we're just going to spend some time praying for that. And yeah, I'd like you to just 
yeah, keep them in prayer, keep myself and the leaders in prayer as we walk with these students and as we spend four amazing days with them. Let's just spend some time yeah, lifting that weekend up. Dear, gracious, and loving Father, we thank you that one that you send us out um, and is you're going to send us out in, in a week and a half. We're looking so forward to being with other students, with the eight students from our church and four to five leaders that we can just be together next week praying, worshiping, having fun. Uh, we're going to be in nature on Sunday and it's I'm looking forward to just seeing your creation, Father, seeing what you have done and, and seeing what you're doing in the students' lives that we're bringing, that the students that other churches are going to be bringing and even what you're doing in, in my life and in leaders' lives. And we just thank you for the weekend. We pray for safety, for travel. We pray for good weather. Uh, we pray for wonderful conversations. We pray that you would just reign, that this weekend would be all about you, that we would focus on you in our conversations, in our times together, and even the fun moments of being, you know, in Niagara Falls and mini golfing, <laughs> even the conversations that can happen then. Um, but that we would just be impacted in this weekend, and too, that it wouldn't just stay there. That the things that we learn, the things that you teach us, that Holy Spirit, you will speak to us, especially with the students, do not just stay there. That they know that the Holy Spirit doesn't just belong on this weekend, but it. They have him. He is with them always and forever. And that you would just impact them with that next weekend. And continue to just help us to grow as a youth ministry. Continue to help us reach students with the love and the grace of Jesus Christ. That they have it as, as the future, but also as a present. And so we thank you, praise you, and yeah, just thank you for this upcoming weekend. For each and every student and each and every leader. And we pray all this in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'll hand it back. I'm getting tired. Here we are. <laughs> One more time. Yeah. So from both of us here, hope that uh, whatever God brings you into today, mm. that uh, yeah, that you can wonder and ponder and yeah. act in obedience to what it means to be walking in the newness of life. Mm. So we'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone. <laughs>